Hi guys, it's Adam and today is the 12th of July 2016 and I have a rather unique haul video, some nice items in this lot today. Um, you will have seen my haul video on Saturday, Saturday was a really poor day for the charity shops. I didn't go to as many as I normally go to, I only went to about 8, so hence why you will have seen not that much on the haul video. Um, although these Porsche manuals, they were a really good find, so I was happy with them. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video, and now we'll get on to this video. Um, so first I picked up this Alton Towers uh, plush dog toy. Um, £2.49 paid, I'll just get it here. Um, I've closed the cut, whoa, <laughs> I nearly fell over. Um, £2.49 paid. There is meant to be a dot in the middle of there, but it looks like £249. Um, but I didn't pay that. Um, yeah, so these uh, theme park style plushies and the theme park mugs as well, they do really well, they have a good market. Um, although it is... They are slightly slower sellers, but we've got a good market and, and the people who want them do pay good money for them. So, yeah, that's that, £2.49. Um, I think I'll get 15 for that at least. So, yeah, happy with that one. I'm going to have to move things around a little bit because I've not got too much space on here. Um, I got a Game of Life Twist and Turns. I paid £1 for that. It's That corner's terrible though. Um, I think I've got about 14 99 for this before. Um, so I might wait for Christmas or I might put it on now. It depends at what my stock levels are. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to shoot for sort of similar money. I might go 13 99 just because of that um, bit of damage there. And it, it's just the box overall is a little bit, the condition's a bit ropey, you know, so um yeah that's that one so yeah that was all right um oh i on the other video also the whole video on saturday i think you will it will have scheduled to upload on so yeah i said i i lost a lego set i phoned up the charity shop where i was thinking i had left my bag and they had it the manager had held it back for me anyway because we know each other and stuff so she saw that I left my bag but didn't see you know straight away so she couldn't like run out of the shop and, and grab me um, but I paid 4 49 for this on Saturday and to be honest there's not much money in it um, I was I was like that I was thinking I, I couldn't get signal and I was like it's probably 14 or 15 quid on FBA I could probably wait till Christmas and it might be 17 or 18 um, but yeah really probably not gonna be too much money in that I get a bit of profit out of it but yeah wasn't a great purchase I got a Disney mug just a standard printed one um, paid two pound for that there you are that one there two pound um, the Disney store you know it's all official and uh, you know nothing amazing probably about 10 pound plus postage something like that um i got this jvc uh digital video camera paid five pound on that but the thing is i made a bit of a rookie mistake for one i didn't ask whether it had been tested for two i didn't ask whether it had any sort of manuals or any sort of wires or um battery pack you know charging packs or whatever because it's got its little battery here um so but i've not got you know any back, uh, charging pack or anything like that so i don't know it won't turn on or anything um so yeah it might have been a bit of a fail this one and for five pound it's not the you know it's quite a quite a big big chunk of money for a fail really but um what i'll probably do is still get my money back on it or maybe a little bit of profit and just sell the unit on its own um untested or what i might do is look on ebay um see if i can't match up a charging port or charging uh cable or something for it and if it's worth me doing it i'll buy that to test it and then sell that with it and then i might be able to get some profit out of it but i don't know um might have been a bit of a fail but we'll see um i got this media i'll go on to media now i suppose airbrush painting techniques 
Um, this was £8.49 Merchant Fulfilled, in, and it was like 141000 in video DVD. I checked Camel in the shop as well to see the sales rank to see if it actually did sell. Um, and yeah, it sells pretty consistently. Probably going to shoot for 14 99 to me, maybe 19.99, but that might be pushing it a bit um, on FBA. Um, I got five bits of media. It was 20p each. They're doing a promotion at one of the charity shops. Um, the only one I really wanted was that one, but because it's the base game, I was happy to pay just a pound for that. Um, but I thought I may as well get four others anyway. Um, so I just picked four random sealed bits. I don't know whether they're going to have any value, but I'll check them out on FBA, see if they do. Um, but yeah, I was happy just paying the pound just to get that, really. I know that in a bundle will get me sort of 20 quid with like six expansions. Um, I got it. I don't know how you pronounce this name. And Gate Gades Gades Gades. I don't know. Um, but it's the woman who does the uh, realistic lifelike dolls, children's dolls, like baby dolls. Um, and I got this for 75p, it's new and sealed. I just took a punt on that one again, I didn't have any connection, any internet or anything. Um, so I couldn't scan it, but you know, I think there might be a bit of money in that. Um, but yeah, anyway, I don't know. Um, next was... We're getting on to the more interesting antique things now. Um, next for this logo board game, I don't know how many of these I've got now stored away for Christmas. This is probably my fifth or sixth one. Um, and I paid a pound for this one again. I mean, I don't usually pay more than two pound on these. Um, and at Christmas it'll go 14 15 16 something like that. I'm not too sure, but around that sort of area. Um, so next we've got some of the antique stuff, which was cool. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, and I got this. I don't know whether I showed it. I don't know whether I did show it a minute ago. But my mum got me this wallet, so that's pretty cool. I needed a new one, so that was a nice little treat. And I put in it my, I um, don't know if you can see that very well. Um, I've already got a mono laser printer, so I printed it in black and white. But it says, that's all folks with me out uh hanging out the middle there and that's my sort of trademark thing <laughs> i don't know why um i have it as my cover photo on facebook i think still um but yeah i thought that's pretty cool so done that and it's quite a nice wallet but it doesn't have much space here for for your coins and then this bit here the the um the money part of it, it's like really deep and really wide so it, it must be for like really rich people who just carry notes i don't know um, anyway, so we'll get on to the um, more interesting stuff. So, I got this vintage tin, um, China tea. Um, it's not very old, I wouldn't imagine. You know, it's not nothing like from the 20s or 30s or anything like that. Um, maybe 50s or 60s, but I'm not an expert in this stuff, so don't quote me on that. But I'm sure a lot of people will put the comments down below and uh, of what they believe it to be. Um, but yeah, it, it has one pound net weight, and I think I don't know. Like that must that must be earlier than the seventies, surely, because that that's imperial, and now we're, we're all metric. So um, yeah, so I don't know. It might be um, it might be all right. I mean, I've seen these go on bids for like three pound plus three pound fifty postage uh but there's none sold on buy it now um i'm thinking maybe just ten pound plus 2.99 shipping and i forgot where the oh, there, yeah that's it there's the sticker for how much i paid 149 so that was all right um but the other thing that's sort of making me think it's a little bit you know not antique or anything just sort of vintage is the condition it's really really good the print's really good on it and everything it, it just seems a little bit you know too good a condition to be anything really antiquey um but yeah that was quite quite nice little pickup um i found this in the chart shop again i peeled the sticker off but this was three pound and i'm sure some of you will be familiar with that name there west german ceramics w germany 
West German ceramics. Um, and this is, of course, fat lava. Um, I actually have a few pieces of this myself, not in this style, um, but different styles. Um, and it's okay. I mean, you're not going to get too much for this. If it was like a, if it was um, maybe like the moon print design that we did, or certain colours go well, um, purples, I think yellow goes quite well, and blue goes quite well. Um, but yeah, I mean, this one, it's just a standard one. I paid £3, and to be honest, I, I don't think I'm going to get a whole lot back for that. It does have an imperfection. I don't know whether it's from in the kiln. But I don't know if you can see that there. I don't know whether that's like a fire mark or, or something, but yeah. You know, it's all right. I don't think there's tons of profit in it, but I just wanted to pick it up just because I never see this stuff in charity shops. And even if I don't sell it, I'm having it myself because I like fat lava. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then finally, what I believe to be the pickup of the day or the pickup of the week or maybe even the month, I don't know. Um, well, actually, I think those Porsche magazines might have been the pickup of the month, but these are still pretty good. So this is an amber it's amber coloured i'll actually um excuse the light but i'm i'm gonna have to need it for for this um to be able to show you the embossed here um so it's c well i don't even know i, I can't pronounce that actually but i'll just show you v a u x however you pronounce that and suns um as you can tell it's like a ambery colour um and it's got this, this is the question I wanted to ask. Should I clean this up any? Um, it's got marks inside and stuff like that and marks on the outside. And I just don't know whether that adds to the value of the item or whether I should clean it up. Um, but yeah, I paid one pound. Yeah, I can't believe I got these in charity shops. That's the, the big thing really. But I paid, don't know if you can see that. I'll just close this again. 179 for that so that's pretty good i think um yeah and, and the embossed sort of logo looks really good it's quite prominent and everything so that's nice um i got this one and that is um it says wit bread and co um trademark I and mean, it has like a i don't know what that is what's that meant to be there yeah, like a Loch Ness monster or a horse or I don't know it's weird that little thing there anyway um and then it says London at the bottom um again that was one pound seventy nine um which I thought was a really reasonable price I don't know I mean I don't know whether it is I'm, I might have completely failed on this but just for the item itself it's a good price I would say even if I can't resell it for much more it's a good price just for you know a collector or whatever um so yeah that was those two and then i picked up these two because i'm sure i heard ken talk about um bottles with like ginger beer wrote on them or embossed in them um and they were sort of all right so um i got these and this is again this is yeah this is the amber one this one's more of a greeny that well the sort of they're similar but yeah this one's more of a greeny but we've got exactly the same writing on these two and these were 129 a piece not 179 and it's don't know if you can see that ross is reliable and then it says ginger beer ross is reliable ginger beer and then it's dumfries i can never pronounce that dumfries in scotland um now i've seen one of these go i think it's a it looked on the listing pretty much exactly the same but it had a stopper of some sort in it um, and that went for 29 quid so you know there could be some really good money in this stuff i don't know um but yeah that, that's those so i've got like a greeny colored one there which same writing Rossi's reliable ginger beer and then this one um some guy was in there who was a collector of these and i was paying at the till and he said oh you've got some good bottles there um i used to be a collector of these so then that made me think oh yeah well you know i might be onto a winner here i mean not that i'm believing him outright that oh yeah these, these must be great but he seemed like a fairly genuine genuine guy so yeah 
Um, and he said also that the amber colour, I don't know whether this is true, but the amber colour is the more like desirable one, the, the one that you're going to get more money off. I don't know, but um, maybe. And he also said these are Victorian. And by the look of them, I was thinking probably around that, you know, like maybe Edwardian or something, but they look old, you know, they, they've got that look. And they've got the wear to sort of back that up as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to uh, leave it there, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it's gone on for a little bit, um, but really excited about this new niche. Really excited about the finds I've had. And I just want to say, I did state in my video a couple of days ago about my future plans. Um, obviously that I was getting into this, these antiques and stuff. And it's weird that once you make that conscious decision to go into another, another niche, you seem to see it like more in the following days. And that's exactly what happened with me today. A couple of days ago, I made the conscious decision to go into the antiques and collectibles niche a little bit more and lo and behold without going to any auctions without going to anywhere specialized i just done my normal charity shop run but for some reason those bottles were in there i don't know what that is it's like i mean i don't really believe in the whole look i mean i believe you make your own look sort of stuff i don't really believe you know that i'm lucky in that way but it's it's freaky coincidence that's what it is um but anyway yeah um i don't know whether i believe in fate or not but you know if i did believe in fate then that has got to be fate i mean seeing those on my normal charity shop run that's just like a a dead sort of just a clear um oh what's the word like a a real um in your face point that i should go into that niche you know I, I i hope you understand what i'm trying to say i can't get my words out correctly but yeah um anyway guys i'll leave it there hope you enjoyed this whole video and yeah i'll see you in the next one bye guys